So people keep saying that Apple is way behind on AI. I mean, the major news outlets are flooding articles about it. The shareholders are unhappy and it just kind of keeps ballooning. But I actually think they're all wrong because Apple has just nailed the user experience of AI. And one of the most important things that it comes down to is an understanding of what AI or artificial intelligence actually is and how it should be woven into a user experience. Let's just stop for a minute because Apple doesn't ever use the word artificial intelligence. They don't say AI in any of their marketing materials. They actually use the term machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence. See, machine learning is a way of feeding a ton, just like boatloads of data into a computer and creating an algorithm and a, and a matrix and a framework for it to start understanding and learning. That's why it's called machine learning because you feed a lot of information into it and then the computer naturally learns from that. Apple tends towards saying this because that's really what they're leveraging throughout their product. So when you hear machine learning, it really is artificial intelligence. Machine learning is closer to the AI of the future that we've all really envisioned and come used to and, and thought about as we've watched Star Trek and data walking around on the bridge. So when we oversimplify AI or artificial intelligence and we don't think about the subsets of AI, then we really kind of miss the point. Let's take machine learning for a second and look at Apple's product suite to figure out, are they actually using it? And are they really behind? The first is, let's just look at Face ID. Face ID is incredible. It will actually scan your face. It'll make a 3D model of your face as you're looking at it, and then use machine learning to understand what your face looks like. So when you raise your iPhone to your face and it unlocks, it can tell from various angles what it is. That's artificial intelligence. And honestly, it's pretty slick and it works really, really well. You look at the Photos app, we feed all of our photos into their bespoke iCloud photo account and AI will go through and learn all the different faces and start categorizing them. And really it's it's pretty incredible and almost creepy how good it is at tracking faces over the long haul. I have multiple different children and I have photos from decades of experience and it does a pretty good job stitching them together to figure out who is who over time. That is artificial intelligence. That's the ability to utilize computer vision to see a photo and actually predict and show what's in it. The computer had to learn each face and then respond to it much like a human does over time. The Apple Watch is another fantastic example. I mean, it learns my health patterns. It senses when I'm walking, when I'm riding my bike, and when I'm doing other kinds of exercise. It learns my behavior. It'll give me prompts. It'll tell me different things. It'll respond and actually make suggestions personalized to me. And it'll tell me when I'm doing better than I normally am or when I need to get off my lazy butt and get back to exercising. The watch actually adapts to the user as they use it over time, tracking their metrics and, and analyzing what they're doing and giving that kind of feedback. I mean, that learns and then responds. That's, that's, again, artificial intelligence. Now, one of my favorite ones is the Apple HomePod. I mean, you take a little tiny HomePod and you stick it in the middle of your room and it will learn your room and custom tailor the audio to respond back to the room and the environment that it's in to improve your audio experience. They have essentially shipped a customizable audio experience into every home that buys one. It uses some pretty fantastic deep learning to be able to throw audio and sound frequencies into the room to map the room and figure out where it's going to sound best and how it needs to shape the audio that's coming out of it to map better to the room that it's in. That is artificial intelligence. I mean, these are just a few examples of how AI is built directly into all of the Apple ecosystem. And so I wonder, why does everybody say that Apple is behind? I actually think it's because Apple doesn't have a crappy chat GPT thrown right on top of their UI. And Apple, kudos to you for not doing that. Yeah, they might not have a flashy image generation or, or flashy text generation, but that's exactly how Apple operates. Apple is generally not first to market. And the reason is because they think different. I mean, look back at all the branding they've had for decades. They are not the run of the mill company. They're not going to just release and copy what everyone else is doing. They let everybody else release and fail and get it wrong. And then Apple swoops in and changes the paradigm with the way they release things. They always are one-upping and leveling up everyone else. And that's really what we expect from Apple. So the fact that Apple is behind is really, I think, a misnomer. I think Apple's actually exactly where they want to be. They've seen people toying around and playing with this technology for a while. And in just a few months, we're gonna see WWDC 2024. And I bet that they're actually gonna change the paradigm of how AI integrates to all of their hardware and software because they own it end to end. They own the processors, they own the sensors, they own the hardware, they own the software that's all built and shipped on it. Apple has a unique opportunity here to reshape the way we think about AI. And you go back to those previous examples, most of the time, we don't have any idea we're interacting with AI. And that's exactly how it should be. 
AI shouldn't be completely overt. It shouldn't be in your face. It shouldn't be taking over the UI. It should be there as a silent partner to help you get your job done or to help you do whatever you wanna do. It should really be like magic. And that's really Apple's MO. I mean, they're all about simplicity and ease of use. So imagine what they're gonna be able to do when they control the entire hardware and software stack and are able to embed AI silently, quietly, and efficiently into the entire thing. I'm super excited to see what this year is gonna bring, but I'm really curious to see what you think. Has Apple actually nailed the AI experience? Are they actually doing it super well or are they way behind? Do we expect that they should be further along than they are? I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what you all think, but in my opinion, I actually think Apple is not behind, but they've actually nailed the experience of what AI can feel like and should feel like in a way that is really gonna continue to change the paradigm. Leave some comments below, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. And if you thought this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button because it lets me know if y'all think this content is actually helpful or not. Have a good one.